hi guys glad to have you back so normally in the weekend we talk about that arbitrage that so many people made money from so every weekend we talk about um the arbitrage that lots of people made money from during the week and this particular one stands out the one we did with kucoin lots and lots of people reported that they make and they currently make lots of profit now the one we did where we bought btc on spot and sold on the p2p area guys this is an amazing opportunity on kucoin now like i said the last time all you have to do is to just find btc on this area and buy the btc all right i think this works with binance this works with um, bybit but i think the profit margin have reduced on bybit and binance but most people don't know that it has increased on um kucoin because not so many people are currently doing it okay so you're going to click on buy when you select buy on this area you basically have to buy bitcoin on spot so if you have around 100 usdt you can buy this amount of uh, bitcoin on kucoin spot which is around 0 0.0015602 or better still you can just copy it to know the amount of um profit you're going to make now this shows that this is the amount of btc you'll be getting when you spend 100 usdt to buy bitcoin now once you have gotten the bitcoin the next step you have to do is to sell the bitcoin on the kucoin p2p all right you can actually go on kucoin p2p on this area and then you click on p2p you can see buy and sell so the next steps you are going to do is to click on sell when you click on sell you don't want to sell usdt but you want to sell uh, bitcoin you have to click on usdt and change it to btc now there's a mistake most people made even though they later made profit and i will show you that particular mistake now there are, there are, there are two mistakes i'll be talking about so i want you to listen very closely because most people who they made profit but they fall they fell into this mistake the first mistake is the uh, ability to make profit and how to choose merchant so basically when you want to sell you can select any of them for example if you click on this first guy and you are selling to him you pick the amount of btc Remember that 100 USDT is around uh, 130,000, 138,000. But here you'll be getting 195,000 after you have, have, have sold your BTC. Now, for those people who don't understand better, I'm going to start up again. Now, for you to do this, the first step you have to do or the first step you have to take is to buy USDT. At the first instance, the first thing you have to do is to buy USDT. And how do you buy usdt this is what you're going to do you have to go on the p2p area to buy usdt guys when you come on the p2p area you can buy usdt here because you use the usdt to buy the btc all right now you can see the price of one usdt one usdt cost around 1379 naira per dollars so if you want to buy 100 usdt it's going to cost you 137,000 nairas for 100 usdt or 138,000 nairas for 100 usdt once you have purchased this 100 usdt this is where you're going to take it that means 137,000 naira is, is your capital you have to come and buy the btc on this area with the 100 usdt okay now once you have done that you go back to the p2p area to sell the btc you have purchased and that is where we came to sell and we selected btc now i'm going to show you since you spent 137 or 138,000 nairas you can click on sell to actually sell to any of these guys over here paste the amount of btc and you're going to be getting you're going to get 195,000 nairas in profits all right which means you spent um 137k and you are getting 195,000 guys this is roughly if you do the maths this is roughly around 60,000 naira profit or 50 between 50 to 60,000 naira profit just instantly now there are some things people did that they made mistakes when i corrected them they started making profit i'm going to explain those mistakes people make one after the other now the first and a very rookie mistake they made is that they don't know how to transfer money from funding to uh, spots now like I said, the first thing you're going to do is to buy USDT on P2P. Once you buy USDT on P2P, guys, 
all your monies the usdt will be on funding this is where the usdt will be funded any usdt you buy on p2p is going to be on funding now you cannot use that usdt to buy btc except you move it to trading many people don't know this and they don't know how to move their usdt to trading to move your usdt from funding to trading you have to click on this area written as transfer all right now when you click on transfer you are going to select usdt because that is what you want to move all right you select usdt now when you select your usdt make sure that funding is up and trading is down all right then you click on all when you click on all you find 100 usdt here which is what you have purchased this shows that you want to move your money from funding wallet to trading wallet then you click on confirm when you click on confirm boom all your monies have been moved to your trading wallet and just go to market just go to your home area and select this area you'll be able to see 100 usdt because some people bought usdt but they they don't find you'll be seeing zero okay you have you have purchased usdt on your uh, p2p but you are still seeing zero when you are trying to buy that shows that you have not moved it you are still so you are seeing something like this that means you have not moved it to to um your trading wallet once you have moved it you will start seeing 100 usdt here and that is where you can now buy your your btc now once you have purchased the btc and you want to sell your btc back to your bank and make all of those profits you have to you have to move your btc remember that your btc is going to be on your trading wallet you have to move your btc from trading to funding to sell so that means at this point your btc is here the btc you have purchased with the 100 usdt is here you have to move it to funding because funding is the only place where you can transfer monies to your bank funding works hand in hand with your p2p now to do that click on transfer again when you click on transfer this time you're going to se select bitcoin because you have bitcoin that you want to sell you select bitcoin once you selected the bitcoin what you're going to do is to now change it from trading to funding so you're going to toggle this look at this two these two arrows pointing themselves you're going to toggle it you can see that trading will go up funding will come down then you can now select all you're going to transfer all your bitcoin from your trading account to your funding account then you click on confirm all right you're going to see all the bitcoin here then you agree and confirm once you confirm all of your bitcoin have been sent to your trading wallet now your uh, funding wallet sorry now from your funding wallet you can now sell it to your bank now coming to the set this is very easy and simple i know that if you have listened to this you would have understood it completely and you're going to make a lot of money because people actually messaged me that they could make profit but they cannot do this simple transfer and i've showed you now how to transfer monies and what funding and trading wallet simply means the next step and the most difficult part for some people is how to sell bitcoin on kucoin now once you click on sell like i mentioned click on usdt you have one last challenge that challenge is to look for a legit vendor a legit merchant to sell your bitcoin to on kucoin you can sell to anybody but you have to be very careful and make sure that person has good amount of trades good amount of orders and is selling within your limit the first thing you are, you're going to check out is how much trust they have for the person look at this guy has kucoin has that seven percent trust for this guy so the trust is not too big kucoin doesn't trust this merchant so it's not too big this guy has only 9.3 this guy has 42 you see okay these are the trust percent more trust percent means many traders trust this guy okay now if your trust percent is high it means that you could end up doing a very good business with him if your trust percent is low it means that that deal might not pull through the person will not, will not take your money but the person might just um not fulfill the order so you have to sell to another person now the next thing you have to check out for is the amount of orders this amount of orders is how many orders this guy has done in the last 30 days so if this guy has 766 orders it means that he have he have sold bitcoin 766 times in the last 30 days which means from the from today is uh, the 4th of may okay from the 4th of april to the 4th of may he has done 766 transactions with this his account all right so you have to choose somebody who has high amount of orders because um the 
uh it means that they have more deals okay so i prefer to sell to this guy because he has over 1796 orders and his trust percent is considerably higher than this other person okay but it is still low so if you want more you can still go down to look for people who have higher amount of trust percent one thing again you have to check out for is the limit look at this guy's limit remember that we are using only 100 USDT. i cannot sell to this guy because this guy is only going to do business with me if i have 500,000 naira and above but meanwhile i had only 138,000 naira i used to do this business okay so it means that i cannot trade with this guy because he is accepting between 500,000 to 10 million naira so if i have less than 500,000 naira i i cannot trade with him if i have more than 10 million naira i cannot trade with him i need to have 500,000 to at least 10 million to trade with him so if if you don't have the amount of money you have to come down to look for that person this guy has 300,000. This guy is uh, willing to do business with me if I have 300,000 and, and between 300,000 to 10 million. But his orders are so low. So I, I might not like to trade with him. So I can go down and find somebody whose order, uh, you know, fits my own. Like, for example, this particular guy, I think his order is, oh, his order is, his orders are okay. 100,000 to 250 million. You can see he's nice. And the orders, uh, 30 days orders are still nice. But the trust percent is low. So these are all the things you consider before you finally decide to sell. Now, when you decide to sell to this particular guy, okay, you click on sell. And once you've selected sell like this, you have to pay this amount of BTC. And you can see that you will be, you'll be getting 186,000 Nairas. Okay, 186,000 Nairas. That means you have made good profit of between 40,000 to 50,000 Naira for one transaction, guys. And this is amazing. Sometimes this merchant might actually negotiate the price with you, but don't worry. You're still going to make amazing profit now i'm just going to make this so quick i've just tried to make this video so quick so that people who did not understand why they made mistake in the last um class will correct their mistakes and start making some profits now meanwhile one last tip if you know you have more than 500k i want to do this you can actually trade with any of this guy kucoin is a very safe 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 platform anybody anybody at all can actually do this guys i'll be leaving you here now and do have a very wonderful day i ensure you make a lot of profit Tomorrow, I'll be bringing you amazing, amazing tips that you can make cool profits from. Stay safe and have a very good time.